the 993 GT2 was one of the great road-going homologation specials. Built purely to legitimise a wide-bodied 911 that could race at Le Mans, it ended up being one of the greatest machines ever to come out of Weissach. This car is one of 57 built. It was delivered new to Japan, the right-hand drive market, but specified in left-hand drive, as was often the case with specialist European cars. The Arctic silver paint shows just a hint of blue in certain lights and is much rarer than the usual polar silver. This is a standard road car, but it does have a set of correct Recaros and a non-airbag wheel fitted. And then there's the way it looks. No 911 before or since has cut such an outrageous shape. It's just a fabulous display of lumps and wings. This was the first Porsche to use the GT2 badge, and it remains by far the most special. A skunk works project from the likes of Jürgen Barth and Roland Kussmaul, it's effectively a two-wheel drive 993 turbo with massive arches riveted to each corner, but it drives quite differently, feeling far more like a 993 RS with massive power and torque. This car has done 27,500 miles, is stated as having all original panels, and is probably worth the money alone just to look at the dish on those rear speed lines. Quite simply, it's 911 royalty. <laughs> 